All right. We got a controversial room today. Because we're going to save this shepherd. Yeah. Because her mom likes her face. She's actually been saving this dog for years. So there's no offense in arguing with her now. We get the nice, nice tight shave all over. We leave the legs, the head, and the tail. Uh, basically look, made her look real silly. But she sheds like crazy, so. I don't argue with my clients. It's not my place. These dogs shed like crazy, and they don't want to live with it, so I shave it. On the first time, I do always educate people. If you don't know, shaving this type of dog can clog the hair follicles, and the hair can never grow back right again. It makes the color ugly, and they just look hideous. Um, so I do educate my clients about that. Uh, and then if they say, I don't care, then I shave the dog. Um, but I will actually make my clients go home and Google, make them educate themselves. And if they do their research and they see that it can really mess them up, they shave, then I'm gonna do what they ask me to do and I'm gonna shave them and I'm gonna make it look real nice. So I always start on these dogs going in reverse because I'm gonna have to do it anyway to get it smooth. So I just start there because it's easier. Um, and I always like to start at the back, because it's easier to pick the hair up back here. I'm going to do a nice, fast face. I'm going to have to go over this dog again. So this is not our forever shave. This is just to get the bulk of the hair off. This dog's not an easy haircut. So uh, she moves around a lot. She's very vocal. Uh, her sisters are in here getting rooms right now, too. So once her sisters start moving around, you'll see she'll get very very agitated. Uh, not in an aggressive way, she's just kind of all over the place. Shepherds tend to be a little more anxious, a little more neurotic, and this one does not, is not the exception. Um, she, she's a little wild child sometimes. Um, so we're just gonna hang on and get it done and move through it pretty quickly.
shaves in reverse because I think it's easier. And then you get something to smooth them out after. Versus starting forward, it's like you had to go through the fuck up process. Right. And she's really not that bad. That was actually her first outburst, which is pretty good for her. She's usually a little ah, more unmanageable. Sorry. I'm trying to get his belly up, bro. I'm hungry today. <laughs> That's been all week for me. I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with me. My little tuna packets aren't doing nothing. I was about to say, well, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, I fucking have about the gym party today. Yeah. Do you ever, uh, are you eating the like flavored tuna packets? No. Eat? No, so I like, I just am straight thugging yeah. on raw tuna. I'll do that though. I like, or actually, I like that, like olive oil too, and seasoning because I'm, I'm all about seasoning. Yeah, I, actually I don't, don't like me. I honestly don't mind eating just the plain tuna. Yeah, I like it with. 
I like it when I make it with like mayonnaise and lots of pepper and salt. Like, ooh, that's yummy. Yeah. But I also really don't mind just eating the tuna. Yeah. This one time this guy, I was eating it at the gym and he was such a dick. He came up to me and he started screaming, you smell like tuna. Oh, You okay. smell like tuna. And I'm literally yeah. eating a tuna packet. But like, yeah. well, like the way he's yelling it, you know, he's like a 45 year old man. It's like, yeah, I can tell why you're single. Uh, and I was a real yeah. bitch about it too. Like I didn't think it was very funny. I was like, what's wrong with you, dude? And this is what you gotta love about the gym culture because he was definitely one of those like, you think crossing a bitch is wrong, but cross a man bitch, oh, um, you'll hate your life for the end of time. You would actively, like, I would actively watch him go up to the people in the gym and tell them how I was a bitch. Oh my god. Yeah. You would be like, you'd what? And he'd be pointing. Right there. Yeah, her. Yeah. And you're like, I don't talk to people, so, you know, a lot of them would be like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Yeah. No, yeah, for like a long time, he would give me dirty ass looks and make it a point to like tell people I was a bitch. I thought it was so funny. Oh my god. Yeah, this like older man too, like older gentleman. He obviously so He's like one of those people that you could tell uh, really is ignorant, but nobody else ever does anything about it. Yeah. You know, like I'm sure other people just would have laughed and cried about it, but like if you hurt my feelings and embarrassed me, we're both gonna be uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't suffer in silence. In fact, my son, uh, <laughs> my son's grandma called me the other day, and I thought it was interesting because she was like, you know, Megan, all these things are happening because you need to be humble. Oh, yeah. You just wow. deserve to be humble. You just I needed to be that. humble. And I said, I don't know, I think I'm a pretty humble person. Yeah. And she was like, not when other people are trying to humble you. And I said, well, here's, here's where we're going to disagree because... I don't think it's anybody's job to put me anywhere. Right. I think I'm the only person responsible for me and I don't owe anybody anything. So you're right and I'll agree with you. If some person is trying to humble me, you're damn right I stand right up and I don't care who I offend in the process because nobody will humble me but myself. Yep. So, okay. I like that. that I don't owe anybody fun. anything. It's not my job to be humble to other people because they want me to be. No. Because you know what's funny is like that that statement is not a rude statement, but if you really look at it the other way, it is kind of funny. Where it's like, you know, it offends people how much I stand up for myself. Yeah. You need humility. How? How do I need humility? Like, what is it about me? I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think I deserve anything more than anybody. I don't think I'm special. I think I still go to work. I think I still do a good job. I think I still put forth effort. I think what bothers people is I'm proud of myself. And I don't have any problem saying, holy cow, I can't believe that yeah. I created this life for myself. And I'm so lucky that I did that. Because damn, if I would have let all those other people humble me all those years before, I never would have made it here. Right? It's true. Yep. true. They want you to sit down for what? Because they are not willing to stand up and it makes them more comfortable to not have to look around you. I find that men oftentimes do get away with really bad habits with women because women don't know how to just, like, tell a guy to fuck off. I was just about to say that. So like, exactly I feel like I so many women, I know. So many women, you know, they just like, when men do things like that to them, they don't, they just freeze because they're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And me, I'll just be a cunt right back. I treat him just like a dumb bitch. Because yep. that's what he is. That's not a man, that's a bitch. Seriously.
Yeah, you can pet Riley. There's this gal that I bought that grooming man for. She's selling her shop in Texas. Oh, shit. Yeah, she hit me up. She wanted oh, my advice. Nice. I'm actually really proud of her, and it makes me a little kind of insecure because she started her mobile or her storefront shop when she sold me her van, right? Yeah. And it was just her in there. And I was like, oh, this is what I'm trying to do in my shop. And this is my goal. And she accomplished it in less than a year. She has five employees. She don't even work in the shop anymore. She has five employees that run everything. Uh, yeah, and they're doing like 20 dogs a day. Which we know that's only four dogs a day per person though, so like that sounds cool, but I'm like, oh, interesting. Um, but like it did kind of make me like, wow, good for her. Like she really had that clear vision and she really executed that, huh? And it's interesting because, you know, she's going through a lot right now. She's getting a divorce or whatnot. So, you know, she's struggling with her chaos. I'm like, dude, that's even more impressive that you were able to do that while everything in your relationship was going under like that's really cool it really is makes me feel like kind of a loser like oh my problem, problem. Oh, no. um because it took me five years to get people to don't hate me like fuck <laughs> but it's like i told her i, I probably fucked myself on this which is kind of funny because you know she asked me what to do so i told her what to do and initially she was like yeah i think i want like eighty thousand. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, there's certain formulas and stuff for that. So I told her, you should go talk to a business broker because you might be undervaluing yourself. And yet I talked to her on Monday about it. And then yesterday I had like a call with her. And yeah, it went from 80 to 180. <laughs> Woo! That's yeah. But I was like, good for her, man. Good oh, for yeah. her. In one year to be able to start that business and get it to be worth that much money. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't want a 180, girl, and I definitely couldn't find it. And to be honest, for $180,000, I would go buy like 12 grooming vans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I agree. Yeah. It's, it's, it's no. no way. Like, that's the hard thing with grooming, too, is it's going to be really hard to find people to sell these businesses for what they're worth. Yeah. And that's where you get kind of stuck because it's like, yeah, my business might be worth all this money, but... Somebody that actually understands grooming is not going to have that kind of money. Yeah. And the people that have that kind of money are going to ruin the business. Yes, and I've seen that kind of happen too, where it's just like... Yeah, they just come in and start pumping the dogs in. Yeah. And that's good. Which, I mean, I guess at that point it's not really my problem, you know, if I already got my head. <laughs> I thought it was a cool opportunity though. Yeah. Uh, and you know, she keeps it affordable. Hey, thank you. It is something that I wouldn't mind looking into. I thought it was interesting though, because I asked her, did you uh, ask your employees? Yeah. No. And I've talked to a couple other people like this, and I'm like, why wouldn't you ask your employees first? You don't want to lose them. That's what I said though. I was like, you really, come on, Riley. You really should ask your employees first. You never know. You never know. Um, and even if they don't want to buy it, because that might not be their goal, uh, at least maybe they'll be more willing to acclimate to a new person when they don't feel like they're just being treated like cattle. Yeah. But she has a store manager and everything. So she only goes in and grooms like her regular dog. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Hey, Riley. Riley, Riley, it's your vagina, not mine. Thank you. Like, she settled right down. She's like, like, okay, you have a point. I know, just like, you're not wrong about that. And I don't want to get stabbed in the vagina. Good call. She's hard, too, because... She keeps all of her weight in every foot. So everything you do to her is weight. 
and heaviness in your hand. Like there's absolutely no assistance or cooperation, you know? Like, she's like I don't want this. She don't done. really fight you, but like she sure the fuck don't help you. No. She sure the fuck does. Like, so you're, so you're really like, <sighs> you try not to think about it, you know? You try not to get in there. Cause you're like, you know, I gotta do it and there's no sense. But man, everyone's like, come up your hair and you're like, fuck my back, my neck, <laughs> my neck, my back. Hold your own fat ass up. Hey, 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 you're gonna choke. Come here. And then cause she doesn't like it, she starts hopping that big ol' ass around on you. And you're like, you've gotta be kidding me right now. I have a hundred pounds of fucking vagina in my face right now. This is my favorite thing, but what's it? Now you're getting to me. Oh, take back like right there. It's not going to choke. Yeah, it's going to choke. Yep, yep, see? See, there. That's right. They get so used to being able to toss you around with that weight that when you outsmart them, they don't really know what to do. If you don't have the ability to move around,
a dog, girl. Out. Yeah, well, put your shoes on then and you won't have dog hair all over your socks. I'm not sure why that's new information to someone who's been coming here their entire life. Yeah. It's not new information, is it? Why? Why? You just don't listen, do you? Why? Yeah, because you don't want to. You want to do things your own way. Why? Come on, go. Thank you. Come on, Riley. This dog really got me over here sweating. I'm like sweating over here. It got warm in here too. Heather, will you get that Shih Tzu or that Schnauzer dry? The Schnauzer's over here next time. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was already dry. So I'm about to finish Amanda's dog real quick. Hey, hey. So then Amanda could do the Frenchie next. The Frenchie? Yeah, because he no. goes with the Schnauzer. I would love to do the Frenchie. Yeah, he was like randomly coming up and licking my legs. Oh, yeah, no, because of the face, he gets hot. Thank you, dear. Yeah, so I wasn't quite sure how far to go down. No, you're fine. Better safe than sorry. I know, that's why I was like, I don't want to go too far down. Yeah, they're getting pop can't do anything. This one needs a bandana. Okay. Woo! That was my workout.